Hey besties, I know all of you love complimenting your manicure with equally gorgeous jewelry, but what if your mani could be both? I know this sounds crazy, but bear with me. Follow along as I show you how to sculpt this beautiful design. Let's get started. The first thing you guys wanna do is make sure that your client hand as well as your own is properly sanitized. The next thing we're going to do is grab a cuticle pusher and push back your cuticles. So now I'm going to grab my e-file and I'm going to lightly buff the top of her nail with an arbor band. This is a very fine grit, so it's not as damaging to the nail. You can also use a hand file for this. So now that we're done prepping the nail plate, I'm going to apply a pH bond. After that's dried, we're gonna go ahead and apply our primer. For this look, I'm going to be using a form, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that on her nail. So you wanna go ahead and pinch that closed when you get it where you want it. Your form's gonna come on a little white paper like this. We're gonna need this for today's look, so make sure you go ahead and hang on to this. For today's look, we are going to be using hashtag no filter from the Color Blend Collection. The first bead I'm going to place is at the end of the free edge, and I'm going to sculpt it to a point. Now I'm going to pick up a bead and cover the nail bed. So after your acrylic sets for a little bit and you can tell it's not that sticky, now's the perfect time to pinch. So now we're gonna go ahead and see if this nail is dry. And it is, so now it's time for filing. I'm going to remove the form by pulling the tabs down and pinching in the middle. And there we go. So now I'm going to grab my hand file and straighten up the side walls. Now I'm going to grab my e-file and clean around the cuticle and smooth the surface of the nail. So now we're gonna grab that piece of paper that our nail form was on and we're going to use this to cover her finger. We're going to be sculpting backwards onto her finger. So you wanna measure out where you're going to put it. And for this design, the end of it is going to attach to the acrylic enhancement that we already put down. So I wanna wrap this around her finger. And I see that I have a lot of excess here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. For this design, I'm going to be using a size four sculpting brush. I like this brush because it has a really fine point and it gives me a lot of detail in my sculptures. So to begin sculpting my design, I'm going to start off with the head and the body. Now we're gonna work on the tail and I'm gonna start from the lowest feather and work my way up. In doing this, you get a very beautiful layered effect and it gives more dimension to the design. So now I'm going to add little anchors on the side. This is just going to add to the design so that it can wrap around the finger. Now I'm going to add a little accent to the head and this is going to be a little feather. So now we wait for this to dry before we move on to our next step. Now that this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and remove the paper from underneath the design. You want to start by taking off all the tape that you have put on the paper, and then we are going to slowly push the paper away from our design and then slide it out from the top. Now that I'm done with the design, I'm going to be coloring the nail with pixie dust. You wanna be careful when applying this. You don't want to apply your nail color to your design. I'm going to apply this polish very thin and then brush off any excess glitter that I don't want. I want a very translucent look and because these polishes are so pigmented, I'm going to have to brush off some of the excess. Before I move on to my peacock, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So after I apply the color to our design, I'm going to go in with my favorite top coat, and this is Kiara Sky Non-Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to apply this to the entire design and nail. And before I cure it, I'm going to add some stones. So now we're gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Well, I had so much fun doing this design with you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about this design in the comments below. Would you wear this? If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave those down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.